hello everyone we will see uh, three different calculator tips in this video in particularly how to evaluate the permutation of any number the combination of any number and factorial of any number we will quickly see how to handle the calculator we will be uh, using either an uh, casio 991es or ms so this is going to be the most frequently used calculator in which we can uh, scientific calculator in which we can compute npr ncr and factorial um, directly using the uh, um, functions available over here so manual work can be eliminated and we will save time in examination too this is going to be the uh, functionality button where we can notice that uh, we will have the npr button over here the ncr button over here okay so if we want to use this npr or ncr then we need to access this button is present on top of this uh, multiplication button i have this npr and in uh, top of the division button i have the ncr so this is going to be uh, in a different color like you have it to be in yellow color or uh, whatever be the um, model you use in accordingly there will be a color code which is available for it so to access this color then you will be given something called as a shift over here so this shift button helps you to handle the operator in the yellow color okay this is yellow color means the shift will also be in yellow color so if you want to access this npr or ncr you need to use this shift button which is present over here so the third operation which we will be seeing is going to be the factorial operation factorial is nothing but a product of n consecutive integers starting from x onwards so it is going to be 3 factorial means 3 into 2 into 1 if it is small numbers then you can compute easily so if it is going to be something like 5 factorial 7 factorial and so on so that can be done using your calculator very easily the factorial button is present over here on top of your inverse button so you can notice an inverse button x inverse and on top of it you will have the factorial button so to access this factorial button also uh, you will be needing this shift operator so we will see how to use it now first case when we are going to go for the ncr okay so i need the value for phi c2 say suppose then what you have to do press phi first so phi will be keyed in and it you can see the display over there in your screen next i want the letter called as c for because i want phi cr where is the c button present you have your ncr on top of this division sign so go first second press your shift button so if you press your shift button then you can activate all the yellow portions over here after pressing the shift button which is the operation which we need to operate this is going to be ncr this is what i need so where is the shift and then you press the division sign when you press the division sign automatically you can see the second script c to appear on your screen next i need a 2 so what you'll have to do go press in a 2 over here in your calculator so when you key in phi shift division sign and then a 2 then you will have phi c2 to be displayed over there in your screen you need the answer so what you'll have to press you'll have to press equal to sign so when you press the equal to sign automatically the answer for your phi c2 which is going to be 10 will be displayed in the systems display so this is how you calculate your ncr so you press the number then you press the shift operator and then you press the division sign so that the c will be activated and whatever be the number you want in the side of it you press it and press the equal to sign then you will get the answer accordingly now next when we want an npr so npr how to get this npr so i want 4 p3 so what do i do is i press this 4 and then i want this p operation where is the p operation p operation is here npr it is top of the multiplication button so what you will have to do to access this you will have to press the shift button after pressing the shift button you need the p button so press the multiplication sign when you press the multiplication sign automatically the second letter called as p will be displayed on your screen and then you press the second letter which is required which is going to be 3 so you will have 4 
first over here shift and x then p over here this two will give you p over here and then a three over here and now you press the equal to sign when you press equal to sign this 24 will appear over here so this is how you get the value for your n p r whatever be the number you key it press the shift button then press the multiplication button shift plus multiplication you will have this p to be generated and then the remaining element so if it is going to be 8p2 then you will get the answer after pressing the equal to sign next moving on to the third operation factorial operation this is quite simple now the uh, operator is present over here on top of the x inverse button x inverse button so if you want 5 factorial first press 5 so the 5 will be appearing on your screen next press this shift button so after pressing the shift button you press the x inverse button so when you press the x inverse button the operation on top of it namely the factorial will now get activated and you will see this factorial symbol to appear on your screen so first 5 and the shift plus inverse will give you an factorial sign and now you press equal to and the answer for it 120 will be displayed in your screen so whatever be the number you press and then you press your shift and then your inverse button and now your factorial will appear and then you press the equal to sign and your answer will be appearing over here. I hope this tip has now helped you to estimate NPR, NCR and factorial in an easy way without any manual calculation. Be smart enough to use your calculator so that we will save much time in our examination and also there will be correctiveness in our answer. Thank you very much. Happy learning.